What up? What it is? What's up, man? Or guys? Whatever. Uh, un momento, por favor. I got uh, all my stuff set up for the most part. Got my fridge back here. Sorry, it's really rough to look at, but I got a big ass bed now. I have set my Tempur-Pedic mattress on top of my mattress that came with the Freightliner. If it if it's not comfortable, which I've sat on it, it's very comfortable. Um, then I'm gonna take it off and put it up top with all my other shit, which I looks a lot better than it did. That's all the fucking all the shit, all the boxes I had with stuff in it, all my cleaning supplies and and things like that. Uh, my fridge, I got little magnets on it, and then my laptop sitting on that because this this little shelf here is crap. But I'll use it for paperwork or whatever. I have a uh, step stepping trash can, and it locks. So when I'm driving, if it falls over, no trash everywhere. It's fucking great. Of course, uh, my, my handy dandy piss jug. I'm, I'm, I set a bleach tablet in there just now, so it's um, cleaning itself. There we go. And now I am, I'm, I'm about an hour outside of Odessa to my 90. Uh, it's not due until 10 in the morning tomorrow. It's already 9:34. Not a big deal. Not in any rush. Literally in 30 minutes, I'll still have 12 full hours before it has to be there. So I'm not in any rush. Load's paying about 900 bucks. Um, not too bad. Uh, just, I think I'm gonna shut it down uh, as far as the cleaning. Uh, 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 goddamn. And obviously lighting is a problem at night uh, in the Freightliner. It's, there's literally like no lights. You see I have a little knobby knob here. I'm gonna see if it works better here on the on the Freightliner than it did on the Pete because it would it would shift around and shit on the Peterbilt. I'm just kind of wiping my truck down. I, I like it to smell clean. I told you all that. So I'm trying to make sure it. You know, I wasn't in it for a whole two days. And uh, oh yeah, my CV works now. I fixed the wiring problem. <laughs> And one good thing about the Freightliner is that it stays powered even when you don't. Like with the Pete, after you open the door and the radio shut off, so did the, so did the everything else. Except of course your your 12 volt. Oh, and look, heat lightning. It must be just hot. I see lightning everywhere. There's still a shitload of spots here. I could have probably drove another hour and been fine. But I'm an hour outside of Odessa. I'm not gonna test my luck. You know, I'm not gonna do any of that. I did do uh, like a, uh, gee, uh, save these fucking things. God damn it. Um, I did a vlog type video. Uh, I'm going to put it together. I did it today. It's very long. Uh, I'm really going to, I'm going to have to edit the shit out of it. I don't even know if y'all even want to fucking see it. It's a GoPro footage. I'm going to put it out there. Um, so you guys can kind of see what my day was like today anyways today was a bad day it wasn't a bad day but it was annoying it was an annoying day so my fuse is a little short in the video you know i'm bitching about shit what else is new right i mean back at stevens that's all i did was bitch plenty of parking out here right now plenty of non-reserve parking have you i parked far away and i like to park in between trucks that are already parked because then when I'm asleep, I don't want to get woken up by somebody backing into my fucking truck, okay? I leave my lights on, like the ambient lights, my marker lights, uh, and my, my front, you know, just the lights uh, so that nobody hits my truck. Or at least they can see my truck when they're backing up. This guy next to me, he's been asleep since I got here. No lights on. The guy next to me, he's got his fucking headlights on for some reason. And wait. Is that a Pete? No, I think it's a KW. The it looks like their headlights are on, but I don't think his headlights are actually on. Um, and it, who cares? I got my truck set up. Oh, y'all can see here. Ugh. I got my carpets and stuff on the ground. Uh, still got a lot of wires running across the ground. 
at the moment, but still not too bad. I plan on uh, fixing it up. I got my TV up there. It's only a 27 inch, but I, I want to I wanna get a mount and I want to get a bigger TV. I'm going to get like a 40 inch because I know 40 inches will fit in here because JDQ has a 40 inch in his truck. Dude next to me was sitting in his truck when I backed up today. First fucking try. Perfect. I wish every time I talk shit about perfect backing, I, I literally don't. I don't uh, get it on video. But anyways, uh, I guess I'll start pulling that shit off. I, my game's playing right now uh, by herself. She can do this shit. I got her set up for two hours so I can get the rest of my truck sorted before I actually lay down. I want to call my wife and say goodnight to her. And oh, it was hard leaving her today. It was hard leaving, it was hard leaving the house. Um, a little bit of motivation was the amount of money that I'm making. <laughs> Uh, I already came into this week with uh, $1,900, 1900 and some change. And then this is a beer load, fully loaded, uh, 44,460 pounds. And I still pulled an 8.8 eight today. I'll tell you right now. I filled up. Okay, we're at an 8. We're at a solid 8 right now, which is not bad. I got stuck in a lot of traffic. There's a lot of fucking construction on 20 coming towards Odessa from Dallas. Um, so I got stuck in a lot of uh, stop and go traffic. If I would have just been hauling, like I swear I would be up at an 8 7 or an 8 9. Because that's what the dash was saying earlier. Um, and it's it seems to be pretty on the money. But I, I put about 80 gallons in, making like 8.5 uh, points per gallon now with, uh, with Pilot. I've already got shower power. Every prime driver has shower power. As long as you swipe once or fill up or get any kind of fuel once at a pilot, you get a shower every single day. Uh, right now, I've got probably about six showers built up because I only stop and get, you know, 50, 60 gallons so I can get the, the credit. And then when I hit the certain amount of points, I don't want to waste potential points if I'm going to hit another bracket. You know, I think you cap out at four points per gallon. Uh, and every time I filled up, I get about 60 to 80 gallons. And every time I fill up with that amount of uh, fuel, I get another 0.5 points per gallon. And that's going to pay off in the long run because you can use your pilot points to buy shit in the store. So eventually, I will most likely be using my pilot points to do my giveaways. Uh, so I'm not paying out of pocket. Not that I'll have any trouble doing that because I work for Prime now. Ha, ha, ha. But, um more so because you know I guess I guess I should pay out of pocket because that's a tax write off right <laughs> it's for the truck it's for somebody else's truck because <laughs> I'll be buying it for somebody else really what I want to do is like if my channel is as badass as everybody claims it is when I do my giveaways I want to crack the box open and fucking and sign y'all's shit uh, I mean if it's a, a headset or something I can't really sign that um, but if it's like that my CB like I want to give that away. I've been using it. I want to upgrade So, you know, it's about $99 CB I'll sign it, you know BL on it or TDB or whatever the fuck uh, So that's what Eric was Eric uh, when he sent me the files for my intro he put TDB uh, Dot move, you know because he's an Apple user um, but and I think JDQ, he's kicking ass right now, man. They're getting him some good fucking loads. He keeps sending me his load, uh, his loads, and I'm like, God damn, I can't wait to make that kind of money, man. Because I'm making good money, don't get me wrong, but he just got put on a load that was worth like four Gs, man. 1,500 miles, you know, like, I was running those to Florida, you know, two, two and a half days I was getting it there. Um, bro. I'm ready though. I'm gonna drop this load in Odessa tomorrow and I'm hoping that they got me dispatched on something fucking good. And so I guess I'll see what's coming out of Odessa tomorrow. I'm not too thrilled about what comes out of Houston. Um, because I'm fully loaded and I only got $900 for this load. Now granted it's only seven and a half hours away from the shipper, but I, it's literally, a 
bunch of beer. So, I see why people don't really like beer loads all that much. So when he was like, hey, could you take this out of Houston for us to, tomorrow? And I saw it was like 900 bucks to Odessa, and I was like, that's still in Texas, that's not far. Seven and a half hours. I, I could have made it in tonight. Uh, I still got, I still had uh, like two and a half hours on my clock when I stopped. I don't want to fuck my 70 up. I want to be running on recaps, so that's what I'm, I'm planning on doing. I'm going to start putting this vlog together. I'm going to finish getting all my shit situated. I'm going to lay in my bed for the first time and see if it's going to work for me. Um, and yeah, and then I'm going to enjoy the flashes of lightning that are getting ever more closer. Obviously, I'm tired too. So, yeah, I'm just going to clean up my floor and make sure I'm not like stepping on shit. I took this. Okay, one more thing. I took this piece of shit off of my floor it's uh like a thermos holder or a cup holder right in the middle of the floor and i it, i wasn't able to put any of my fucking carpets down right here so i was like man i need to get rid of that shit so i did there's no space under the dash here like they do have in the peat so that's kind of sad i'm a little sad about that but whatever it's fine anyways who gives a fuck remember just ladies love it hey fucking ready to take care and i'll see y'all another time Thank <laughs> you.